Hey everybody, it's Kia. So today I wanted to go ahead and record the last paycheck budget for the month of June. And really quick before I do that, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. It just makes my heart swell so much. I've been so excited to see all the comments lately and it has really been great. Um, so thank you guys so much for the support. Um, another thing I wanted to say really quick is that it is Saturday. It's our cleaning day. So my kids and my husband are out um, in the house trying to clean and things like that. So if you hear some background noise, I'm so sorry about that. Um, they are just trying to get some of our honeydews done for the day before um, it gets too late. So I'm going to go ahead and record this video and then hop out there and help them <laughs> for the day. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have gotten a couple suggestions about zooming in. So let's see if I can get this to focus in and um, get a little bigger for you guys. So hopefully that will do it. And I'll try and pay attention to where I have the planner page. Um, because sadly when I zoom in, I have a hard time telling if it's in frame or not. So if it gets out of frame for a little bit, I'm so sorry about that. I will work on that, but let's go ahead and dive in. So this is going to be the six, um, let's see, the 62620 budget. And I am doing this in pink because this is for my paycheck. And as usual, um, I am going to budget the same amount for my paycheck um, due on the 26th, which is $18.50, because that is what I normally get paid. Um, let's see. I do have my roll forward calculated, so let me grab that. Now my roll forward um, includes things that I have earmarked out for other bills um, as well as bills that are going to be coming out this payday. This will be a short paycheck budget because my husband's going to get paid mid next week but I did want to go ahead and get my paycheck budget taken care of so that I can get the month of June closed out at a at a timely fashion I guess. So the roll forward this month or this paycheck is going to be um, 16. I just put 1620 because I like to have even dollar amounts. Makes it easy for me when I'm trying to budget. Um, and let me just check this total really quick. Yep, so I have that all um, lined out on my little spreadsheet to make sure I don't get out of balance anywhere. Um, so the total income for this pay period, or total cash available anyway, is going to be $34.70. So there we have it. That's total money that we've got to work with. And then every payday, because I get paid bi-weekly, I do budget for auto fuel. Uh, we are now working pretty much full time back at our jobs except my husband he was actually off this week um because he had um he wasn't feeling too good and he had a fever so they made him go in and entertain that's not entertainment i can't spell and talk at the same time um he had a fever so they made him go get tested for covid and he cannot go back to work until he gets his test result back So, um, because he cannot go back until then, his boss said that we don't have to worry about this week, um, that he's covered, but sadly, I don't know what's going to happen because, there again, I'm sorry, I can't spell and talk at the same time. Um, they said the results could take seven days to come back, and I'm not really sure what, um, when that's going to fall. He went in Tuesday for the testing and um, seven days could be, you know, mid next week. So we're going to be a little light on this paycheck budget and maybe even next paycheck budget just to 
kind of depending on when we get his test results back. But I think it's just a cold because I had a sore throat, wasn't feeling very good, and I stayed home and worked from home for a couple days. But we have had other people um, in our office that had the same thing. They went in, got the COVID testing done, and um, everything came back negative. COVID, strep, um, the flu, all of that came back negative. So um, I'm not really that concerned about it, but oh well, we'll have to just kind of see how things go. But here's our normal stuff, Autofill Entertainment, um, which is gonna be our Spotify subscription. We do have some grocery money set aside. And then I am still trying to wrap up our homeschool. So I have $285 set aside specifically for homeschool stuff, but um, I might end up going over that. We'll just have to kind of see. So I might have to pull it out of my other savings because I want to get everything taken care of in the next couple weeks so that um, I can finish planning out our homeschool year uh, before the end of July because we'll probably start the last week in July or the first week um, the first week in August on our homeschool. We take a lot of breaks so I like to start early. Um, so we've got medical every two weeks I budget for my husband's therapy appointments um, and we have our house payment and then we'll move down to our um, our debt payments that we're gonna have so the mortgage is due on the first the medical is just kind of um, more of a sinking fund item I don't know if we're gonna have to pay for that yet or not he's actually only been going in once a month but they haven't been billing us which is which is scary and it's kind of bugging me because now I've got all this money set aside that I know I'm gonna have to pay out, but I don't know when. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. But, um, all right, so we have autofill, we've got all that. So this payday, I do have some bills that are gonna come out on the first. So we are gonna have our credit one. Um, this is the MasterCard and it, it's really due on the first. Um, I have it set up to auto pay, so sometimes it comes out a little early, but we do have that. We also have the Credit One Visa. It's due sometime around the first as well. And then we have JC Pennies. I think it's due on the second. And then we have State Farm. And it is due on the second. And this is for our State Farm Visa card. It's not for insurance. So for the Credit One MasterCard, I budget $50. The Credit One Visa, I'm not really sure exactly um, how much it's gonna be, but I'm gonna do 65. Um, I think when I closed out the paycheck budget earlier on in the month, it was actually $72. But I know I'm gonna have enough um, kind of over budget amounts in here in other areas that um, I'll be able to kind of make up that difference. So, and then State Farm, I just budget $75. All of these are on auto pay for whatever the minimum amount is. And then as we go through and they clear the amount, um, clear the bank, whatever difference I have in my budget, um, so I would, like JC Penney's, that one's really gonna be $27. I don't like to budget for um, anything other than fives and tens. So that $3 difference, I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna transfer that into our debt savings account. And then later I'll pull that money back out and I will actually submit a payment. So, and then we are going to apply some of the debt savings money that we have to my husband's Capital One visa. And I'm just gonna say the first on here, I want to apply $500 to this account. Um, it's not near as much as I had planned on paying out, but um, I want to make sure that I still have enough money to finish buying our homeschool supplies because I was a little late uh, taking care of that this year. So we've got our Affirm 4 loan, which was my daughter's laptop. I'm going to budget $50 for that. And that should take care of all of our debt that's actually going to come out this paycheck. Um, I am going to be pulling money aside though for some future bills. So I'm just going to call this bill savings. And that's part of my roll forward that I have. 
and it's going to go towards bills that are going to come out during my husband's pay period um, and won't actually come out this time. So I'm going to budget uh, $285 for that. And then let's see. I think that accounts for everything. So let's go ahead and start adding things up, cross-checking the math, and closing out these totals. I'm hoping that everything will kind of um, fall into place. So, all right. Okay, so our regular expenses came out to be fifteen hundred. And then our debt payments. Our seven seventy. So if I take my income, expenses, debt, and bill savings, I should have um $640 left over for roll forward money. So let's give this a shot. Nine fifteen. What is going on here? Um, hmm. Let me try that again. Oh, now I know what I forgot to include. Um, I also have $275 earmarked out for debt savings. Here we go. Now it's making sense. Okay, so twelve hundred plus seven seventy plus fifteen hundred should equal my thirty four seventy. There we go. Okay. So that is my budget for this pay period. Um, I actually already have my total roll forward and my total paycheck. So let me find my paycheck really quick. Okay, so my paycheck was $18.50. 234 and my roll forward was actually um, 1622.80 because I got my paycheck yesterday so we'll go ahead and type those in to the calculator Gives us a total of thirty four seventy five fourteen. Perfect. So that's taken care of, and then we will go ahead and close this paycheck out probably the end of next week. 
um, after all of these bills clear and then we'll we'll do a fresh paycheck budget for my husband's payday so thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around if you like my videos if you can give me a thumbs up that would be amazing and then please consider subscribing to my channel i do plan on posting budgets weekly as well as our debt um, snowball journey and just our monthly budget recaps trying to figure out where all the money is going and how to get a handle on this so trying to figure out how to take more control over our budget but if you guys enjoyed the video like i said if you can give me a thumbs up i really would appreciate it and until next time have a blessed day thank you guys